What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette and the new eyeshadow primer that she came out with. And if you guys want to know my thoughts on this and want to see how these products perform, then just keep on watching. So the first thing we're going to use is the Rare Beauty eye primer. I love the packaging of this. It's so pretty. Usually I don't really use eye primers as much. Just because I feel like, I don't know, I have my concealer and my P. Louise that work really good, but I really wanted to try this one out. And I like that it has a bit of color to it too, because I do have a lot of veining on my lids. Well, that actually canceled that out a whole lot better than I thought. But I just don't see this working out for a lot of skin tones. And it honestly just set itself down to a powder. Well, that's good. I didn't have to really do much to that. Now we are gonna use the Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is the True To Myself eyeshadow palette. Packaging is a little weird too. It has like this little dip in it, but cute. And then we do have some mattes in here. Now glitter, mine did come a little bit broken. I don't know if you guys can see right here. I don't know it's because the shadows are too soft. And I will be inserting some swatches of this palette. So if you guys are curious on how this looks, I'll definitely have those up for you guys. The first shade I'm gonna take out of this palette is Positive. I believe that's the shade right here. I love how this goes into those moon phases. It's really pretty. I am using this on my Makeup Amara EF2 brush. Now this is just gonna go right in our crease. and out to our transition area. I don't have a specific eye look planned. I'm just doing what I think will look best. You do have to build up these shades a bit, nothing too crazy. Now that I did that, I am gonna go ahead and take the shade Passionate. And this shade's gonna go in her crease, and I am using my Morphe M330 brush. And this is staying in our crease. Okay, that shade's super, super pigmented. Now I am going to go back in with that first shade that we used. I think I'm going to go in and use that second shade that we used and I'm going to place that in my outer V. Now for the inner portion of my lid, I think I'm gonna use this glitter shade, which is called Accepting. And I'm gonna use that with my finger, and I'm just gonna pat this on my lid. That is very glittery, I love it. Go in with my flat brush, and just get in these corners I can't reach. So I'm now considering just taking it all over my lid. I didn't like how it looked just with the inner portion done. I am going to go back in with that same M330 brush and blend out this edge right here. I am getting a lot of fallout with this glitter. That's not the too bad. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then apply my mascara and falsies and I'll pop back on to show you how everything looks. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take that first shade that I use, which is this one. And I will be taking my Sigma E34 brush, pencil brush just like this. And then I'm just gonna place this on my lower lash line. Now to deepen up that shade a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and use that second shade that we used. 
which is passionate. Okay, now this is gonna go close to our lower lashes. The lower lashes is so easy, you really don't have to do much. And now for lower lash mascara, I'm gonna use the Lancome Idol Lash Mascara. Now this palette doesn't have like an inner corner highlight I could use. So I do have to dip into my own highlighter, which I am gonna use my Jaclyn Hill highlighter in the shade Sparks. This is her Accent Light Highlighters. This can go in my inner corner, my tear duct. And then also Brow Bone Highlight. I've been really loving doing this step. And then that is it. This is what the eye look looks all completed. And if you guys are curious what lashes I am wearing, I'm wearing my Ardell Black 113 falsies so the ones that come in the pack perfect for this eye look all right i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys back out all right guys and this completes this look let me just go over the products i used i used the rare beauty eyeshadow primer and the eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow primer does retail for 18 dollars and it claims to be a weightless hydrating eye primer the smooth lit while prepping for longer lasting amped up color that won't crease, fade, or smudge. So I'll keep you guys updated in the description box below if that really does help with creasing and smudging. I will definitely let you guys know how I feel about it, but so far I love it. It feels really nice on my lids and I did cancel out veins I had on my lids, which I love. That's why I usually use concealer because it cancels out all my discoloration on my lids. And then for the eyeshadow palette, this does retail for $29. And this claims to be a sleek eyeshadow palette that includes seven easy to wear crease resistant shades and a range of finishes that stay put all day without fading. I am reading this all off of Sephora's website. And I do really like this palette, but I feel like I can create similar looks with other palettes that have similar shades. I don't know, I love it. It's very beginner friendly. So if you guys are getting into eyeshadows, this is the perfect eyeshadow palette for you guys because it's just easy. You can create a bunch of looks with this and just slap two shades on your lids and call it a day. Like even with the eyeshadows I use, I definitely didn't have to use that glitter shade. I could have just used that first as a transition and then this one as an all over eyeshadow and then that will look so pretty. And I will insert swatches of this palette here so you guys can see. Overall, I think it's a really good palette. I feel like I wouldn't gravitate this gravitate towards this palette as much because I am all about my color for shades. But for someone who is really just getting into eyeshadows, this will be the perfect eyeshadow palette for you. So I'll definitely be using the eyeshadow primer a lot more. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to give me a like, comment below, and also hit that subscribe button before you leave. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.